The System Restore feature in Windows 10 is one of the best and easiest ways to recover quickly when a newly installed application, or device driver, causes instability to your system. System Restore works by creating snapshots called Restore Points. These Restore Points keep backup copies of your system configuration, including registry settings, driver files, and third-party programs. Windows will save some Restore Points automatically such as with each cumulative update installed through Windows Update. You should also create restore points yourself manually, before installing a new application, driver, or low-level system utility. You can then revert to this restore point if you subsequently run into problems. Note that System Restore doesn't impact any documents, pictures, or other personal data on your machine. Its focus is on the software and associated configuration that is running your computer. Windows 10 disables the system protection feature and deletes existing restore points as part of setup. If you want to use this feature, you must first turn it back on, so let's see how to do that. First, in the search box, type system protection and press enter. This opens the system properties dialog box with the system protection tab visible. You can also navigate to the system protection dialog via the regular system settings screen. Click the System option, and the Click the About option. In the About screen, you will see a link to System Protection on the right-hand side. Click this. Under Protection Settings, you will see a list of drives available for protection. Find the System Drive, C, and check its protection status. If this setting is off, the System Restore button and the Create button will both be grayed out and unavailable. Select the C drive and click Configure. Then click the Turn on System Protection option. From this dialog box, you can also adjust settings for disk space usage and delete any existing restore points. Click Apply, and then OK to close the dialog box. Now you can create your own restore points. Click on the Create button. Enter a meaningful name for your restore point and click Create. A restore point will now be created based on the current state of your system. It will take anything from a few seconds to a minute or more to create, depending on the speed of your machine and the complexity of your system. There are two main paths to invoking the System Restore feature. The first of these is by navigating to the System Protection dialog as we did previously. Now click on the System Restore button. Click the Next button. You will be presented with a list of the most recent, manually created restore points. You can choose to select one of these, or click on the Show More Restore Points checkbox, which will cause the Windows created restore points to appear. If you click on one of the restore points, you can then click on the Scan for Affected Programs button, which will list all of the programs and drivers that will be impacted. Based on this information, you can make a decision as to which restore point you want to revert to. In general it will be the most recently created restore point, and this will have the least impact on your system. After you have selected the restore point you want to revert to, click the next button. Because System Restore will reboot your machine, in order to apply the changes, you need to save any open files and shut down all programs. You can then click the finish button and this will kick off the restore process. After your machine has rebooted, it will have reverted to the system state as of the restore point you selected, with any updates, or new installs that occurred after that date, removed. In most cases this should be enough to stabilize your system, but be prepared to have to step back to an earlier restore point if necessary, following the same process. The other path to invoking the System Restore feature, is when your machine is unable to boot up properly, and you end up in the Automatic Repair Utility. On this screen, click on the Advanced Options button. In the Advanced Options screen, Click on the System Restore button. This will then bring you through the same process as before, of selecting a previously saved restore point, and reverting to it. System Restore is probably one of the quickest and most effective methods for restoring your system, in cases where disk corruption or hardware failure is not involved. If one of the latter is involved, then you will need to look at a system image recovery. This is covered in a separate video. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching today. Hit a like on the video if you found it of use, and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive notice of more videos like this.